Type form in choose form are two services to create feedback, contacts, and survey forms. But which one should you be using? Let's find out. Type form is a beautiful form creator that lets you make forms, surveys, and quizzes. What's really interesting about type form is their approach to forms. They only show one slide at a time. They say that these are forms made for humans, which is just a way to say that they are made with a great user experience in mind. It was launched in 2012 and has over 400 employees, so these forms are obviously pretty popular. Unlike Typeform, JotForm is a form builder that is used to build traditional online forms that allow people to fill out the entire form from one page. The company has tons of integrations and numerous templates for all types of uses. For instance, JotForm can be used to build surveys to lead capture forms and anything in between. As a solid payments form builder, there are also plenty of templates for payments forms as well. For the content types, Typeform supports a wide range of data types to get the correct info from users. It categorizes the question types to make it easier to find question types, short text, long text, multiple choice, phone number, email, website, number, dates, calendar, payments, statements, question group, ranking, terms and conditions, and much more. Chosform also supports several types. In fact, it supports more than type form. Here is the list. Headings, name, home address, email address, phone number, date speaker, product list, short text, long text, paragraph, multiple choice, drop down, number, image, file, captcha, time, and payment like PayPal, Square, Stripe, and more, and over 100 widgets, basic and from integrations. For the form designs, Typeform has its style of putting each question on a new page. JotForm supports this feature through cards, but the forms on Typeform look prettier initially. It however does not support single page forms, which is the main style on JotForm. For the apps, Typeform does not have any apps. They started working on a Typeform Lite project, but that has been discontinued for a long time now. JotForm, on the other hand, is available on Android and iOS platforms to create and edit forms. You also get to see responses and download data. For the integrations, integrations make your complex dreams come true. It does not matter how many apps Bot supports because Bot offers Zapier integration. Zapier is an app connector platform to connect hundreds of apps. Other than Zapier, Typeform supports Google Forms, Canva, Slack, Pipedrive and Monday.com. One thing I like the most is the integrations option right next to the form builder to help you connect apps. JustForm also supports similar plugins such as Monday.com and Slack. It also supports Zoho CRM and MailChimp and OneDrive. For templates, both Typeform and JustForm have tons of templates to choose from and they all look pretty darn good. Typeform has plenty of templates for just about any need. Here are the major categories of templates they have. Lead capture, registration, feedback, application, research, quiz, order, giveaway, request, poll, report. There is also an other category that has even more templates that don't fit neatly into those categories. Typeform templates all look gorgeous, and that's probably what sets Typeform apart from just about any other form builder out there. You can preview the templates to see exactly what they would look like, and you can actually fill them out. All their templates are designed with UX in mind. You are not going to find a lot of form builders that can make that kind of boss. And unfortunately, not all the templates are available in the free version. So if you want access to all of them, you will need to pay. JotForm absolutely blows Typeform out of the water when it comes to templates. They literally have over 10,000. There are actually so many as to be overwhelming, so that may actually be a drawback. They are searchable thankfully, and they are also broken up into types, industries, and professions. So searching for the perfect templates will be little less time consuming than it may be otherwise. 
Here are some of the different categories of templates. Orders, registration, event re registration, application, booking, requests, feedback, membership, sign up, payments, contacts, surveys, and much more. That's just a snippet of what's available. The forms all look good, though not as beautiful as Cypeform. Some of them come with images that you can replace, while others don't. Each template is pretty good at pairing design with the seriousness or playfulness of the subjects. So for many users, using them as they are without any design changes is probably going to be fine. For the dashboard experience and the ease of use, both Typeform and JustForm have great user experiences, but they will require some practice to get used to them. Typeform has the more intuitive user experience of the two, but not by much. That's a good thing because JustForm's user experience is excellent on its own. What sets Typeform apart is style. It looks cleaner and you can easily add forms, create new workspaces that are shared with specific people and more. Connecting apps right from the dashboard is also simple as is adding users. Creating forms is also very straightforward. You won't find too much of a difference in how easy the editors are to use between the two form builders. But one thing that stands out is the conditional logic. The logic editor is relatively simple to use because it has a fluid chart visualization. Being able to easily see how the conditional logic works makes a huge difference in usability. JustForm also has an excellent user experience on the dashboard. The main menu allows you to easily find and edit your form of choice, and you can also access reports right there. You have plenty of options without it feeling overwhelming. The only drawback in terms of ease of use is the logic editor. You don't have a way to visualize how it works, so it's harder to tell if you have set it up correctly. Now for the pricing, Typeform offers different plans to enable you to make optimum use of its features at the best possible price point. It provides a 16% discount on the monthly price if you opt for annual billing. It offers a free plan if you want to try using their service before taking on a paid subscription. With the free plan, you get the following features, unlimited type forms, pre-designed templates, 10 questions per type form, 10 responses per month, and much more. And the basic plan, the basic plan is available for $29 per month, built monthly. It offers the following features, 100 responses per month included, one user, unlimited type forms, unlimited questions, and a lot more. And also the plus plan, the business plan, and the enterprise plan. JotForm isn't quite as expensive as Typeform, so for many organizations, it's going to be the more cost-effective option. The starter plan, this is a free plan, is allows for 5 forms, 100 monthly submissions, 1 MB available space, and 1000 monthly form views, and more. The bronze plan, this plan is available for $29 per month built monthly and $24 per month built annually. It allows for 25 forms, 1000 monthly submissions, 1 GB available space, and 10,000 monthly form views, and much more. Also, the silver plan, the gold plan, and the enterprise plan. Both Typeform and JustForm offer unique features to users. JustForm has been around for much longer than Typeform and is much more widely used in terms of the number of users. Choosing between Typeform versus JustForm depends on your business and your needs. Typeform is going to be best for users who want a truly beautiful, unique design to their form. Another big reason you may want to choose Typeform over JustForm is if you are going to be using a lot of conditional logic in your forms. The conditional logic of Typeform is simply superior to JustForm because of the visualization option. JustForm is going to be best for businesses and users on a budget. That's not to imply that it looks terrible or functions terribly, it's just more cost-effective.
The one you pick is going to depend on budgets and use cases. If you want a truly gorgeous form and budgets is no objects, go with type form. If you just want it for, for some simple quizzes in class or for lead generation for a small business, just form is the way to go. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully this video helped you out. You can give me a like and bye bye.